All right, so like I've been doing a project based on like trying to put together as many offensive sequences as possible. Started with a focus on close guard, and I'm gonna show you another sequence that I kind of piece together from multiple sources. All right, um, it also gives me the opportunity to show you different how a uh, sequence progresses, branches, different options in a situation, and progressions, counters to common responses. All right, so let's get started. I'm trying to keep this short so I'm like I'll speed it through, right? So, first of all, we're starting off with this situation. He has the colic. I'm going to break the grip. And now I want to change where my elbow is so his wrist turns to the other side of my arm, allowing me to push his arm away, which makes this a stronger movement. Push him to the thigh, all right? Now, if he tries to pull away, it's going to be really hard compared to if I just pulled, all right? So the first three options are all based on different op different possibilities in the same situation. I dragged a control posture. Now the first one is armor. Leg comes high, push away, push away, push away, lock, finish. And you can also Bring the elbow across, trap the wrist with the elbow, finish that way, or attack the reverse armbar, hands reinforced on the elbow, trapping the wrist between the, sh the shoulder and the ear, down. All right? Pretty basic, all right? Next option. All right, head. Head little sweep. Like super basic, ba white belt stuff, right? Load his weight up, 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 pop. Third option, back take. Hip moves out, grip transfers from lat to belt, and you scoot out more. Then you transfer to the pants. So you have complete control of his hip. Scoot out again. Now you control the upper body. Stretch him out, stretch him out. Transfer the hook. So that's your three options in a different situation. Now, his response is generally to pull the arm back before you pin it, all right? So he either pulls it high or he pulls it low. So he pulls it high. In that case, I'm gonna go with the momentum. So he pulls, I shoot my hand to the sky, come up to the elbow, track the foot, come up to the hand, throw the hip in, pull the grip. Variation on a hip bump sweep. Again, basic. He pulls it low. Either, like, either I try to drag him, he pulls it low right away, or, you know, he pulls it low just because he wants to. Re Anytime it goes here, this is off. I'm gonna switch my grip. As I switch my grip, I'm also pulling my knees in so he stays low. I want to, I don't want to e make it too easy for him to posture up here, which would give me a lot more difficulty. So, I'm pulling it forward as my grip switches. Hand goes in the collar, thumb first. I'm pushing his wrist into his chest and I'm pulling his collar towards me, elbow tight. Now, as I'm actively pushing, I'm gonna start creating space by shifting his body with big arm hand swings into the armpit. One side, other side, back again, over. Control, lock up, triangle, all right? It's a really basic system, you know? And um, the key is just to understand that they exist and to start thinking about how you can create them. Because 
just learning technique by itself is not going to help you as much as creating systems of offense. And like that's what I want to inspire you to do, and that's why I'm I'm trying to make more sense of the knowledge I already have. I hope you do the same thing.